All right, let's go over outputs in Radiologic DJ. So Radiologic DJ has multiple audio outputs. So if we go into preferences and we go on the audio I.O. tab, we have an output one, two, and three. And a library track properties and pre-listen, and a line in and a line out. So let me go over the first three outputs first. It's now a common misperception is to believe that output one is for player one, output two is for player two, and output three is for player three. But in fact, these are actually independent. So if uh, you could have it set up that way if you wanted, but here's how you would do it. You'd select output one here, output two here, which is going to switch the output so we can't hear it. I'm going to switch it back. And then output three on player three. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to label these uh, for the purposes for which I use them. So I'm going to make this one on air. I'm going to make this one monitor. And I'll leave the third one unused for right now. And those labels take on the meanings that you uh, want. Also, on the palette, you can also select your output for the palette as well. Okay, so those are the basics of the main outputs. Let's go over the library track properties and pre-listen now. So this part is for your off-air listening, uh, where you can listen to previews in the library, uh, the track properties player, or pre-listen to the next track in queue, uh, so you can get uh, an idea of what the track's going to sound like, uh, particularly if you're live and you want to kind of preview what the track sounds like before you intro introduce it. So you pick a different device for this. In this case, uh, I plugged in a generic USB audio device, about $5 device, and everything will play out of that uh, when I go to play in the library, etc. So, so we can hear how this sounds. I'm actually going to put it back on the system sound for now. And I'm actually going to stop this player. I'm going to take auto off, and I'm going to requeue this track, and you can hear what some of the off-air stuff sounds like. So. So for example, um, this track is ready to play. I can actually play it off air be at before it actually plays. And I can do the same if I'm searching through the library. I can pick different tracks in here and I can say, huh, I think I know what this track sounds like. Let's preview it. Go pick another track, play that, and get an idea of what your tracks sound like so you're better at selecting the track that you want. A third place, uh, where you can do this is the track properties player and this is available in all the lists uh, whenever you select a track you can get its track properties um, and this is used to set up a bunch of other things about how tracks play which we'll get into in another video uh, but for now just know this is another player where you can work with things off air and as you go through the track if you hold down it'll actually scrub through the audio so you can use that to scrub through the audio, find the exact point you want to mark different things that you want to, to happen with how that track plays. One extra thing, since we're in the audio I.O. pane, is the line in and line out. So the line in and line out is just wiring an input to an output. So here I've got it set to the, uh, the line in and uh, uh, I'm sending it back out on the line out. Um, and what this does is, uh, I think if I did this, I'd probably get some sort of feedback loop because I'm already using the line in for the microphone for this video. Um, but you would hit the line button here, and this will turn the line in on and off. Now, there are a couple more things about the line in. Um, in the preferences on the general pane, you can actually choose to use a fade for the line in or off. Uh, so let's say if you're joining uh, a feed, uh, you know, a satellite feed, or I don't know who uses that anymore, but uh, another computer is uh, continually streaming music, and you just want to pass that through, you could actually uh, use the fade uh, to turn the line in and, and make a uh, uh, somewhat pleasing transition while you switch from one uh, uh, type of content to another if you want to play through uh, some other kind of content. Uh, besides that, there's also... Uh, a MIDI surface control for the line in as well so you can bring it up and down uh, with the with the MIDI surface so with that that pretty much covers all of the audio output uh,
parts on here. So we'll get into more uh, in the next video. Catch you then.